So when you're building out softwares or websites, one thing that's probably important that you should be doing is writing some type of automated CI CD pipeline checks. Often you put tests inside your pipeline so you can run some tests over your code before you allow it to get into production. And also when someone makes a pull request to your code base, you can write some GitHub actions to verify a couple of things. For example, right here, when someone made a pull request to my game, there is this test runner that runs. So let's just check this out real quick. And all this is doing is running vtest over my code base just to make sure that if people contribute to my code, they don't break stuff. But sometimes making these pipeline tasks is easier said than done. Often you'll get stuff that fails when it's running on the remote GitHub action runner, but it seems to run locally just fine when you run your commands individually. So one thing you can do to verify that your GitHub actions still work locally like they would if you were to run them on your remote GitHub action is by installing a library called ACT. And I'm gonna kind of walk you through how you can get this set up. So I'm gonna walk you through a library called Necto slash ACT. And this is very good if you wanna be able to run your GitHub actions locally inside of a container and basically have it emulate as close as possible to what it's gonna be when you run it, when you push like to your repo, right? So let's just first install this. I think you can brew install this if you're on Mac. So let's go to homebrew. Let's just go ahead and install ACT. And I'll just go ahead and brew install act real quick so you guys can see it in action. All right, it is installed and now let's test this out. So I have a GitHub action over here called test YAML. And what you can do is you can actually say act L and that'll list off the particular jobs and their names that you can run that exist in your repo, right? So in our case, we have one YAML file called test and that's the only job we can run. So if we wanted to verify this GitHub action, you can do it by just going over here and say act hyphen J for job, and you type in the name of your file. So I'm going to say test, and then it's going to ask you what type of GitHub container do you want? So you can pick large, medium, or micro. Let's just go ahead and pick medium. And it's only going to install a, a subset of the tools that are necessary. So sometimes you actually need to download the full large image, which is 17 gigabytes. So if you run your, your GitHub action locally and it's failing for weird reasons, then yeah, you probably need to use the large um, but unfortunately it takes, yeah, 17 gigabytes download, 53 gigabytes of storage. So that's, that's quite a lot, right? But I'm going to try it with the medium and just see what happens. And hopefully it should be able to at least run my tests. And of course you do have to have Docker installed. So like Docker Daemon or Podman is another good alternative to Docker where it's going to download this container and run all your stuff inside the container to emulate what it would be like if it were to run a git commit and push it to your remote repo. Okay, so I went through all the initial setup for the container. Now it's actually running an npm install, which I think if you were to kind of zoom out, it's going to step through these steps for you. So right now it's doing the setup node step. Eventually it'll go down and it'll do the install dependencies, which actually I guess it's doing right now. And then finally it should do run tests. So if I should be able to search this whole console output for run tests, and you can see over here, this is the name of your task. And this is like the actual job that was running. Let's just scroll up and you'll see that all of our tests have passed inside of this act runner, which is great. That gives you more confidence that when you actually push this to your repo, which is great. This gives you more confidence that when you push this code to your repo, it will run exactly how it did locally. And this is great because I have run into so many different issues with GitHub Actions where you think everything's going to run locally. You push up the YAML file and then you wait a couple of minutes because it has to download and redo the npm install and all this other stuff just to see that it fails in your pipeline. You're like, okay, I got to do that again. And so you keep on pushing these changes over and over and over again. And you end up getting like just tons of failures over and over again until you finally get it right. Using ACT can really just help expedite that process, right? It tightens your feedback loop and can just help you write these YAML files much faster. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't really look too much into the documentation, so I think there's probably other features that they provide, but for the most part, just doing that can help improve your CI CD process, okay? Anyway, I just wanted to share with you all, I think it's a very important tool to have in your toolkit, especially if you're working in DevOps and you start doing like GitHub Actions. Uh, definitely try it out. All right, have a good day. Happy coding.